How you doing? And welcome back to One Man, One Project. I'm in West Falmouth, Massachusetts today at the Cape Project. 59 degrees, raining outside. Gonna all week it looks like, which is fine. I gotta be inside. I wanna try to get final inspection by the end of this week. So there's a, not as much to do. My son Alex is here, so that'll help me out a lot. What I wanted to show you is all the prep work that goes into trying to figure out where we're going to run the water lines, where's the electric at, which I've already installed, how am I going to get the heat pipe, the aluminum pecs for the warm board over to the header, where am I going to put the header, all these little things you got to think about first. I had to organize the basement to do all this stuff, so it gave me a lot of time to think about it. I've been in construction since I was 14, I'm 53. Took six years off to be a roadie, but this is all I've done. I've owned a business for the last 28 years, but with the economy, uh, there was no work. So this project came up to completely remodel a 1,400 square foot home, and I want to do it all by myself. I've never put in PEX water pipe. Actually, I've never run water pipe, little pieces. I've certainly never put in aluminum PEX water pipe hooked it up to the header, ran it over to a boiler, and then that whole control thing's freaking me out. But I have common sense. One of the things I did with the company was lay out and think. So I've been thinking a lot. You have to. We have so many connections and how to figure things out and joists and electric and beams and how do I get through there and who goes first, stuff like that. So I've been thinking, planning, I'm going to go through it with you, what I did to try to get this figured out. First, I went through all the materials that Warren Board sent me so I could make sure what I have. Uh, they sent me the clamps here that goes over the, the pipes on the Warren Board to keep it in place until your flooring goes down. I want to show you that there are others. This one's for plumbing. This one's for electric. This is a Simpson. They gave you top of the line. Look how sharp that is. That's going to go in real nice. I have my actuators, which I'm not sure what they do, but I'll figure that out. So I went through all that, then I came on downstairs and I took little sketches and kind of figured out where I was going to go for water. Then yesterday I put up a bunch of runners. You can see how they go up and down, those are the old joists. So I got all my runners in. I had to put some of my pecs up to straighten it out because that was a coil. The rest of my pecs came in today. So I've laid everything out. The next thing I did was try to figure out where my warm board's going. Because I know where my plumbing's going. The warm board is laid out where it's going, but, you know, it could be where there's a joist. And I want to get it in the center, so that one worked out well. This is the other one. There's uh, four pipe runs on this job in two zones. The guest room is one zone and the rest of the house is the other. I wanted to just show you what I do is I have the strapping that's that piece of wood and then I take a clamp, nail it on. That's what a clamp looks like. So that's how I keep the warm board itself in place. For the PEX, that little Milwaukee tool there spreads the pipe enough to get the plastic connectors in. If we have to put connectors on the aluminum core warm board, we have to use brass connectors. One of the first things after I found my drops is I had to figure out where I was going to put my header. I'm going to keep it off the wall and uh, probably with 2x12s I'll hang it so it can't move. But the fittings, they, they do it really nice. Supply and return. They're offset so you can get your pipes up. So I still have to read a little more on this. I asked Paul at Warm Board to send me a picture of a completed header and if he has anything on the actuators and, and the temperature controls and things of that nature. So he's going to send me that. Warm Board is an awesome company to work with. They, Paul's been there with me to try to figure this out. With my boiler, I have both fin tube in the one section of the house. And then we have the radiant heat. Radiant heat, I think, is 90 degrees. The boiler for the fin tube, I think, is 180. So I have to add a mixing valve in there 
So he's going to give me some information on that as well. Yet today I'll be definitely installing some of the warm board piping, drilling holes, getting it down here to the header. I think I can bend it with a conduit bender. I tried it with that little one foot piece I was messing with on Saturday night and it looks like it'll work. So I'm going to keep going. You're going to see warm board being, or excuse me, you're going to see the aluminum PEX pipe being installed in the warm board. And I made a little cutaway so you can see in the warm board when you pound in the PEX how, how it, uh, it just molds into that. I can't think of the word. Gosh darn it. Anyway, mal malleable. So I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, kids. One man, one project. We got pipe coming up. Thanks.